everybody and welcome to my channel. Ever wonder how a radio base station, a cellular radio base station looks like inside? Today I'm gonna show you how, how it is. The AC powered board. There's some several switches to feed different equipment. This one is 220 volts, uh, European standard. An AC protection box, a surge protection bo box underneath. Battery backup system. In this cabinet there's uh, rectifiers converting 220 volts AC to minus 48 volts DC. There's some batteries inside the cabinet. A 19 inch rack having several other equipment. There's a ODF to the fiber optic link to the main switching office transmission routers fiber optic connection goes in here on this FSP router separates the traffic to the different services and radio access technologies this one has two Ethernet fast ports. This one is a new one to synchronization and clock. Here's another shelf here. <coughs> the digital unit for the LTE also known as 4G. circuit goes in here brings the traffic to and from the main switching office and fiber optic connections to the radio remote units these radio remote units are mounted on the antenna tower outside near the antennas There is also separate power cables to feed up the radio remote units from the backup, the DC backup system and over there. Some air conditioning units to cool the inside of the telecom shelter. We have the coaxial cables that goes to the antennas. These coaxial cables are coming from the radio equipment. There is a cabinet radio equipment we equipped with different uh, transmitters and receivers. Radio units, what we call. And uh, the digital unit for to the GSM 900 gets the signal from from the base station controller the main or the main switching office in that E1 connection and there's the data cables that goes to the different radio units we have three on this uh, site covering three cells one is pointing 0, 120 and 240 degrees the bearing the antenna are pointing different directions so in here we have a digital unit to the 3g system we have both bands one on 900 megahertz band and 2100 down there with the different radio units
the traffic comes in to this unit from the main switching office. It's processed has a signaling subsystem, uh, maintenance, remote maintenance, uh, alarm systems, and also does all the coding of the traffic, the digital coding on uh, at the baseband level. Those baseband signals are then sent to the different radio units where the um, where they are modulated over a, a radio carrier. This cabinet is produced by Ericsson Radio Company. There's plenty of them on uh, large areas of the country. Nowadays, the equipment manufacturers um, are using a newest technology uh, which we may call the SDR or the software defined radio. What does that mean? It means that the same hardware can be used processing different types of radio access technologies like the ones we've been using today like GSM, WCDMA and LTE and Evolution. And the same radio, the same hardware, uh, being from a specific band, can be uh, used to different types of uh, technologies. On the same radio, we can even have two different types of technology. We can be uh, transmitting and using uh, a, a GSM signals, uh, TRX, supporting uh, GSM traffic and simultaneously we can also have uh, a carrier WCDMA or 3G on the same hardware using the same antenna obviously. A particular thing about these equipments are that uh, it usually has two antenna ports on on uh, the same sector, radio sector. Uh, this is mainly used for improving the reception through a technique uh, called the, the uh, radio receiving diversity. The theory behind this is that, is that um, two different antennas getting the same signal on different uh, polarization or space between the two antennas uh, the signals can be uh, better on one or another depending on the uh, the propagation paths between the user equipment and the and the antenna system those signals are combined and uh, the front end the radio front ends usually picks up the better signal These radio units are available on different power capabilities. Being the strongest ones being installed on the network are able to produce 120 watts of radio energy, which means that uh, we can have a combined power through different carriers or technologies up to 120 watts watching the antenna system there is the three antennas pointing different directions these antennas are multi-band antennas they have all the technology bands connected to them Inst instead of having a different antenna to different band nowadays operators are just concentrating all the signals on the same antenna they are broadband and they have different uh, radio ports to connect the different coaxial cables. As you see the coaxial cables going out of the shelter.